and people tend to think that this is a blockbuster they'll just come in and just take whatever and we have a problem with people not returning stuff we have like 10 or 11 movies that just disappeared no trace whatsoever and so we want to get locked cabinets because we have a tendency of having like my brother's friends or my friends or some people just coming in and just oh hmm, I think I'll take this one and this one and this one and they have so many movies it won't kill them to lose a few and just thinking about it takes me off there's a freezer outside and oh my gosh that cake right there is so old That cake is so old. It's either from my birthday. I think it's from my birthday in May. That's so old. That's embarrassing. But yeah, we don't really store anything in there of importance. And our garage door is broken. It's been broken forever, so we have to manually open it, which gets to be pain when you're fat and you're tired and don't want to get out of your car. These are all my shoes. I don't wear any of them, really. Those are the ones I wear. Pretty much. Ooh. My brother's Kenny and my Kenny are mixed in together. I'm a Reese's freak, just so you know. I'm, like, obsessed with Reese's. Ice cream, candy, whatever. And the other stuff is chocolate covered cherries or something which I don't like that's my old car that broke down and I'm not sure if I want to step out because considering how cold the cement was before Yeah. See? It's a nice area. When my neighbors walk out and see me recording, they'll probably think I'm weird. It's a very nice area, very quiet. But, you know, when we first moved here, like all the neighbors that were here before like moved out around us I don't know if that's a sign or if it's just a coincidence <laughs> I think the people that lived here before were like really popular in the neighborhood they used to have neighborhood block parties and all this stuff and when they moved out I don't know I guess they right followed them it's kind of hurt our feelings and to tell you the truth we don't know any of our neighbors at all I mean, the ones that are right next to us, over there, uh, we've seen them, and my mom has talked to the lady that lives directly across the street, but we don't know any of our neighbors, at all, and we've lived here, uh, four years, I think, four years, maybe, yeah, everybody just kind of does their own thing and keeps to themselves, which is, kind of okay with us because we're kind of loners. We're both, both my mom and I are really shy. And so we don't really mind if, you know. <sighs> so that's it, I guess. I didn't show you my mom's bathroom. So like the like the whole house. Except I'm just showing your bathroom. I'll move so you can show them. <laughs> you know, my mom's bathroom is a lot more like together than my bathroom is. Everybody always comes in here and says, Oh, I like your mom's bathroom a lot better. I'm like, oh thanks. And if you notice how everything matches, that's not an accident, people.
this one actually like how the carpet and the towels match and see the green and the curtain matches but this that's not an accident my mother is a matching freak huh yeah I like things to match and as you can see I wanted to be just like my brother there's my brother look how handsome he is he sees this, he'll be all embarrassed. And that is great grandpa Jess in Blanche, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, see? I haven't met Blanche, but uh great grandpa Jess is deceased now. But he lived to be hundred and one. And I actually got to see him in the hospital. And I was one of the only people that made him smile. So, but he always got us mixed up. He called my mom Rosalie, which is her mom, and he called me Cindy, which is my mom. So, technically, I don't think he remembered I existed. <laughs> I remember when I was little, I had really long hair, and he always, like, used to come up and braid it. I remember, oh, that made me mad. <laughs> he always came up and just did this long braid. He didn't like hair just to be, like, plain down. You didn't like braids. And I didn't like braids. I still don't. I just thought I looked stupid in them. Which I do. Uh, that's it. And this is my mom's glass menagerie cabinet. I used to have a glass menagerie thing in the mall. And my mom was obsessed with the glass menagerie. Like, she was really in this glass menagerie stage. And so, every time I had a little money, I'd go down there and, you know, buy her glass menagerie thing. And see, I got that pink thing that says mom with the rose. And I saw it, I was like, oh, that's my mom. See all these little glass menagerie things, like the castle. I remember she liked the castle because it reminded her of, like, Cinderella. And, like I said, we're Disney freaks. And, and see, and she has the little, um, drawing blank coach. So, that's it. That's the tour. I'm going to have to edit it because it's going on 21 minutes. So I'm going to have to edit it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, I was putting stuff away and all the stuff fell out of the cupboard and hit me on the head. I know what, my hair I know what she's thinking. My hair! Yeah, I just messed up my hair. I just combed. Man! At least I got my hair done. Yeah, she's obsessed about her hair and her Well, makeup. I don't have a perm. It was straight. Now it's curly. <laughs> she's so cute. Well, I'll see you in a little bit when she gets all situated and ready to start. <laughs>